So this is the linear actuator I've been building. It basically is old printer parts. Those two rods there are from an old printer, and the middle threaded rod is from the hardware store. It's a piece of stainless steel rod about a foot and a half long. Underneath there you can see the, are the slides from the printers, and over here, it's hard to see, but the rod goes through there. There's a T-nut underneath connected to that. Um, I'm going to put some bearings on the end to hold the rod, but I need to get a spade bit of the right size to counterbore that in order to put the, the bearings in place. And it's Christmas Day, so I can't do that. But what I do is I've got Phil's GM8 adapter, which is, holds the GM8 onto this um, the, the rod. And when I start it up, you watch, and it will pull the platform this way. Now, the GM8's got like about uh, 133 to 1 reduction, so this is very slow. Probably I can't use it for what I want to use it for, but it's good for testing because I don't have to fiddle with stepper motors to, um, to get this working. Because stepper motors are, I don't really know how to use them yet, I'm still learning. But that way I can use an animal, regular old motor and just figure out how, how it works. One other thing, to build this, basically I just build a box out of MDF and then use a drill press and then drill all the holes. There's holes underneath these things, these little end caps to hold the rods in place. But the rods, the holes are perfectly parallel that way. And then what I do is build the sled on top of the thing when it's done. So basically you end up using it as a jig to build the sled and everything ends up perfectly parallel. And that works.